Okay. Rule number one. Don't leave home without doing makeup. Rule number two. Don't leave home without your makeup bag. In case you leave home without doing makeup, you can actually do it. Because what am I even doing right now? My brows aren't done. My lashes haven't been done in a couple months. And where's my makeup bag at? Nowhere to be found. Anyways, if y'all are new, I am not a morning person. If you guys know me, y'all already know that I am not a morning person. However, I have really, really been trying to become more of a morning person. My sons are both morning people. Aiden, my five-year-old, he's a morning person. Italy, my one-year-old, he is a morning person. And their dad is also a morning person. So, the fact that I'm the only person that is not a morning person, I feel like there are some changes that I need to make and I need to make them fast. So, this video is just going to highlight three things that I intend to do to try my best to become a morning person. Number one, in order to have a successful morning or at least wake up and you can get out of bed without feeling super, super tired and super, super groggy is making sure that the night before, one, you get to bed at a reasonable time so that you can get at least seven to eight hours of sleep. We need to stop compromising on our sleep schedule. We need to stop compromising on the quality of sleep that we're getting by working throughout the night. I have been pulling so many all-nighters over the last few weeks that when I do get to bed at 3 a.m., and my alarm goes off at 3 30 because you guys know or maybe you don't know if you're new here i have a 3 30 alarm set where i would get up and i would spend the first hour between 3 30 and 4 30 just praying and meditating and giving that time to god um but if i'm being honest i have not gotten up at 3 30 a.m in a while and that is because i've been literally working through the night so 3 a.m 3 30 a.m will actually meet me still awake so i'm really trying to not do that anymore and to not compromise on the time that i get to bed so that way it does not mess up the or infringe on the quality of sleep that i'm getting so that's one thing try to get to bed at a reasonable time i think 10 p.m or 11 p.m for the absolute latest is great that way 11 12 1 2 3 okay 11 may not be able to work we may have to get to bed at 9 in order to not compromise on our sacred hour with god we're gonna need to get to bed earlier so okay nine ten eleven twelve one two three three two three six and a half hours of sleep is still good so even if i snooze for an extra half an hour to meet seven hours get up at four i think that is still pretty reasonable as opposed to working through the night and missing my alarm and because i'm not actually getting to bed at night waking up in the morning is a scene so that's number one get to bed on time get to bed at a reasonable time that way it does not mess up your ability to get up early in the morning and feel refreshed and feel revived great number two hmm, number two i have found that when i go to bed prepared like before i go to bed i write down what i have on the agenda for the next day or i think about one thing that i want to do the next day that has me really excited to like sleep and get up to get it uh i always always like i'm excited to get up now <laughs> on the flip side of that usually when i'm super super excited to get to something to the next day it keeps me awake so i end up just like staying up thinking about it and then before you know it it's 4 a.m and i haven't slept yet and i'm so tired now it's time to sleep and it's just a vicious cycle that i'm trying to get myself out of so we really just have to consciously decide that we're no longer going to stay awake when we're excited to get to the next day we're actually gonna commit to getting to bed at a certain time 9 p.m 9 p.m so that we can get up at the time that we need to get up so that we can get to what we need to get to oh i think it's easy enough so far so far so good number three and i think this is going to be is this gonna be number three or is it like number two part two part two of number two because it's still in the in in the realm of like preparing and being prepared is making sure that my outfit and my lunch like whatever i'm to eat the next day is already prepped and my outfit is already prepped as well so that way when i get up in the morning i do not have to think too much about putting together an outfit or ironing my clothes or steaming my shirt or cooking lunch or whatever so i think this is like 
part two of number two making sure that clothes and food is prepared for the next day number three what is number three hmm what is number three what is number three okay so this one might be a little bit personal but i will still share it with you guys something about me i don't know if it's like the self-sabotaging parts of myself but if i know somebody is like messaging me and there's a certain level of anxiety tied to the conversation chances are i will do one of two things i will either get to the conversation fast and get it resolved or i will detach myself completely from the interaction or from the conversation and therefore i will almost like prolong even addressing the situation which is horrible right but we're trying it's 2024 we're trying if i go to bed if i go to sorry sir if i go to bed knowing that i have a problem that needs to be solved that i haven't yet found a solution to when i wake up in the morning because subconsciously i know i still have to get it my default is like sleeping a little bit longer to like avoid getting to it which is horrible and i'm really trying my best to not be like that anymore but if we're being very very honest that is really just how it is sometimes so and if it's one thing about me huh, whatever i decide to do like when i have to make a decision on something i always tell myself once enough variables or enough factors are playing into a particular choice that is when i would make the choice let's say i have a class on and for one reason or the other i am thinking about canceling the class or rescheduling the class and then a student messages and she says hey Tess, i wouldn't be able to make it to class this weekend or let's say i get into my car and i'm heading to the store to pick up some supplies and then i realize that oh shucks i miscalculated today is not saturday it's actually sunday and the store is already closed because they close at 12 noon once enough factors are playing into a decision that's when i'm like whoop okay that's not working whoop okay that's not working whoop okay cancelled so <laughs> that's how my mind works huh <sighs> so yeah i think those are the three things that i could Im implement effective and immediately to make sure that i could at least be a better morning person i don't have to turn into a morning person overnight but at least if i could be a better morning person not be so cranky not be so groggy on mornings then i think that is a step in the right direction so let's just do a quick recap number one we are going to actively commit to getting to bed on time every single night between 9 p.m and 10 p.m every night so that we can get a solid six to seven hours of sleep so that when we get up we are not restless and we are not groggy number two we are going to make sure that we prepare so the preparation is in two parts preparing we making sure to write down what we are to do the next day what is on the agenda for the next day what is the priority tasks for the next day and number two part two of number two we're going to make sure that we have our outfit prepped as well as our food prepped for the next day as well so we don't have to think about that when we get up the next day number three is we are going to get to the things that we need to get to as fast as possible eliminate anything that is pending if a conversation needs to be had we get it if there's a problem that needs to be solved we sit and we think and we solve the we solve the problem we get to the solution as fast as possible if there are emails that need to be answered to we do not go to bed until those emails are answered so that way when we open our eyes we are not automatically filled with intense anxiety and therefore we don't just naturally feel to go back to sleep or you know prolong getting up altogether so that is my plan if you guys are a mummy just like me or you are a mummy in business then these are my three tips to you know just have a better morning or even if you're not a mummy but you're just not a morning person then i really hope that this video helps you guys i am currently picking up um a few pieces at my graphic designers shop i'm saying me like it's actually me it's not me but i'm waiting <laughs> i'm waiting to pull off and i just thought that i would film this video for you guys to you know maximize on my time so yeah today is monday the 29th of january this is my very first 
mommy mentor monday video i guess we'll see how it goes don't hold me to it but we'll see how it goes i'm really making an effort an active effort to post more frequently on my youtube and i hope you guys could appreciate the effort right i love you all so so much be safe out here because these streets are crazy um stay tuned for wednesday's midweek vlog and then on sunday we have another sunday set uh we have another video in our sunday set series so y'all be safe i love y'all do not forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one